What's up, YouTube? My name is Alex, and welcome to my poker. I'm based out of Northern California, a region that produces the goats in their respective fields. For football, we have Brady. Baseball, we got Bonds. Martial arts, Bruce Lee. And we even have Clint Eastwood, the greatest actor of all time. And then there's me. A big-headed, former, subpar college baseball player who was barely above waterboy status. However, after playing poker for fun and barely breaking even for a couple years, I managed to turn a $100 deposit online into a $20,000 poker bankroll. Here's how I did it. COVID hit, so I couldn't play at a casino anymore. I found Global Poker online. I was skeptical at first, so I started with a measly $100 deposit. The competition was so bad at this time, I was able to multi-table the 5 cent, 10 cent stakes and turn that $100 into $4,000 after 18 months. I then moved up to the 25 cent, 50 cent stakes and turned four grand into eight grand in just six months. Then I went back to the casinos to play once they were back to normal and turned $8,000 into $20,000 playing mainly the 1-2 game at Stone's Gambling Hall. That leads us to now. The beginning of this vlog and my time to move up in stakes and make a run at the local 1-3 games. Follow along to see what we can turn this $20,000 poker bankroll into. Welcome to NorCal Poker. We head out to Capitol Casino in the heart of Sacramento and buy in for $300 at the 1-3 match the stack game. The first playable hand we get is none other than the bullets, pocket aces. The under the gun straddle is on for six in early position calls. The cutoff, who is a massive calling station, only makes it 16, and I three bet him to 55, and only he calls. With his small sizing preflop, I put him on a lot of small pairs and suited connectors. The flop comes out 9-6-3 with two spades. This is such a draw-heavy board, I don't want to mess around with a small bet, especially since all the straight drawing hands, like 7-8 and 4-5, are in his range. Also, since I don't have the ace of spades blocking nut flush draws, I want to bet big to charge those hands. I decide on a bet of $70, so if he calls, I will have about a three-quarter size pot bet on the turn that we can go all in on on a blank. However, he tank folds and we scoop in our first pot of the vlog. I'm called to the main game where we're put in an interesting spot right away. Early position limps and we look down at 7 8 of spades in middle position. I decide to raise it to 20 and we get four callers. The flop comes 994 with two spades. It checks to me, and there's no way I'm semi bluffing into a five way pot. It gets checked around. The turn is the eight of clubs, and the small blind leads out for 35. The under the gun limper calls, and now it's on me. The easy decision would be to just call in position and see a river. But after I tank a while and think about their ranges, I felt like one of them had me beat and the other had a better flush draw. So should I fold and stick with my read? As NorCal legend E40 once profoundly said, Yup. We end up seeing a seven of diamonds on the river. Small blind bets, 85 and under the gun snap calls. The small blind shows jack nine offsuit and under the gun shows pocket fours for a full house. The nitty fold saved us some money. Thanks, E40. In this next hand, a splashy action player raises the $15 under the gun. We're in the cutoff and look down at my least favorite hand in poker, Ace-King offsuit. As poker legend and NorCal native Brad Owen said, there's no right way to play jiggities. Well, that's how I feel with Ace-King offsuit. 
Every time I get it, I wish I could just have it against a short stack and run out all five cards. That's not the case here. We're over 100 big blinds deep, so I 3-bet him to 55. Folds back to him, and he calls. The flop comes out queen 7-3 with two diamonds. He snapped donk bets 55 into the pot, and I'm kind of in a tricky spot. I've seen him do this move twice with top pair already and call an all-in after doing so. So I think raising is out of the question. But should I call? If I hit an ace or king, will that give him two pair? I decide to make another nitty fold again, so please feel free to roast me in the comments. I come back from an emergency piss break, so I'm late to filming. As you can see, I open the Cowboys, red pocket kings to 15 under the gun, and only the splashy action player calls. The flop comes out 8-6-2 with two spades. Since I don't have a spade in my hand and unblocking flush draws, I decide to bet $20 into 25 and he calls. The turn is the six of diamonds. I should still be good here most of the time, so I bet 55 and he snap calls. So now I'm putting him on a pair of eights or a flush draw. The river is the nine of diamonds. The obvious flush draw misses, and some BS straights get there. I've seen this guy bluff miss draws several times and value bet weaker hands. So I give him rope to do just that, but he ends up tank checking back. I show my hand, and it's good. It folds me in the cutoff, and I open 7-8 of clubs to 15. Both the blinds call, and the flop comes ace-king-jack with two clubs. They check to me, and although I have the range advantage, I decide to check back since they're both calling stations. The turn is the five of clubs giving me the flush. Checks to me again, and now that I made my hand, I decide to bet 30 to charge a high club or weak ace. The big blind ends up calling, and since he didn't lead out on the turn after I checked back the flop, I don't think he has a very strong hand. We see a blank on the river and the two of hearts. Big blind checks again, and now I'm targeting a weak ace. I decide to bet 45 into a pot about 100, and he goes in the tank. I'm worried I sized up a bit too much, but he ends up tank calling, and we take it down. I raise king queen of clubs and under the gun plus one to 15, and just like almost every hand today, I get multiple callers. I get a heaven sent flop when it comes out queen queen five rainbow with a club. I flop trips with no draws. In my head, I'm booking my next vacation with the money I'm about to win from this hand. I only bet $15, which is a quarter pot and less money than I had in my entire bank account throughout college. Everyone folds. I deserve Gordon Ramsay putting two pieces of bread on my ears and calling me an idiot sandwich for not checking and letting them catch up. I raise pocket kings to 15 in early position and get four calls. Everyone in this hand has been playing pretty straightforward and I have yet to see a bluff all day from this group. So when the flop comes out, Queen 7-5 with two diamonds. I decide to bet half pot at $35. But since I don't have a diamond in my hand, unblocking flush draws, I should be sizing up here, even though it's multi-way. Only the splashy action player calls, with about 180 left in his stack. Turn is the five of hearts, and now we have awkward stack sizes. If I go small, I'll let him get a cheap price to hit his flush, but if I jam, he might hero fold something. I end up deciding to jam, and he snap folds. I take it down. In the last interesting hand of note, the under the gun straddles for 10, and under the gun 1 opens to 25. Middle position calls, and I look down at pocket kings again in the small blind. I decided to 3-bet to 95, 
which is probably too small out of position. The big blind starts to think for a bit. At this point, I'm wondering if he's about to four-bet jam on me and about to get in a big all-in pot. However, he ends up just cold calling, and under the gun also calls. Middle position gets out of the way, and we go three ways to a flop. The range I put the big blind on is mainly pocket pairs like sixes through jacks, and I put under the gun on pairs and big Broadway cards. The flop comes out jack 4-2 with two hearts. Since we're not that deep compared to the pot, I decide to just bet $100 and everyone folds. They both told me after the hand that they both had smaller pairs than the jack. It was pretty smooth overall. Folded a combo draw before seeing a river, which I never thought I'd do in my life. All my big pairs held up, which makes poker pretty easy, but too bad that's almost never the case. As for results, we never had to add on to our stack, so we were in for 300 and out for 785 for a solid $485 profit to start this vlog. That's all I have for you guys today, and here's a random video of me hitting a golf ball right-handed, even though I'm lefty. I'm Amphibious.